Hi guys, Meg Twin here. Wanted to upload a video letting you know what my next endeavor is for this uh, project that I have been working on this whole time. Um, my next part of this is going to involve the spawning of resources, of which I have no idea how to do right now. I mean, I, I can spawn actors, you know, in the scene, you know, like when you kill an animal, the meat comes out. But I'm talking about a uh, vast area of usables of uh, like fire, wood, um, and different uh, stuff that the player can use. This recipe here, I think I'm going to change it to a blueprint. Recipe sounds like he's going to cook something. I'm going to change those to blueprints. And I'm going to make that blue. <laughs> um... Yeah, I need to figure out how to spawn items. I mean, this is where the uh, player will start out after burying his people over here. That's where he buried his uh, fallen comrades. And this will be the first instance of the save game. Letting you know that's what that wheel is for. And you walk up to it again, it's just going to say save game. So that occurs only once. Uh, so I have to figure out how to spawn items in this vast land that I have here, this large world. Um, in a second I'll show you how, how big it is. But in the beginning the player will start over there where uh, the burial site is. He'll search, I think I have one more thing down here, he'll search the area for useful items which will be the campfire recipe then he'll learn how to make a campfire I need to be able to spawn uh, fire logs and stones in the area so that he can gather them and have his uh, campfire uh, made to be able to craft and then here we got the singed bedroll he can use because I do have a day and night system and he'll need to uh, you know first gather these and then um, you notice that the recipe sign didn't come up again. It'll only do it once. Um, so we have the recipe. We'll show that. There's the bedroll. And here's the recipe for the campfire. And it tells you you need four fire logs and five stones. So I have to find a way to spawn these items into the game. And uh, up here the player will you know search for any usable items and uh, he finds the chief's bow so he takes that and he finds the chief's quiver now at the beginning of the game before you find the bow that won't be showing up there in the upper left um, I had that fixed before but it since has been disconnected so I can work on other things so that's what you'll start out with. You'll start out making a campfire, uh, you'll pick up the sleeping bag, and then you'll be able to uh, spawn a campsite when it gets nighttime. And I haven't decided whether or not I want to implement uh, the passage of time, because if you remember, um, let me go to one of the campsites here. Let's go to the wolf campsite because I have that one set up now too. So let's go there and let me get the player over here. Okay, let's pick a point here. Let me uh, copy that location and then let me pick him and paste it so he'll be over here. Here we go. I don't think I have any saves so he should go ahead and spawn here. Let's get him out from under there. Let me get him up out of the ground otherwise he'll fall through the earth. So these are the NPC camps that he will be able to find and he will learn about uh, different foods to grow 
um, this campsite grows potatoes and carrots and if you've seen the other video the other campsite grows corn and cabbage so he'll have to do things to get uh, the seeds to be able to grow these crops in his own establishment once he gets that set up I mean he's gonna have to search this vast land and find water resources like these before he can actually set up his home camp so um, I have them all disconnected that's why they're not moving and let me show you the vast uh, world here let me click on this and hit F this is how big the land is doesn't look that big when you're looking at it from up here but down here with this little guy I mean that's a lot so my next endeavor is to figure out the best way to um, spawn the resources that he's going to need. As I mentioned, like the fire, wood, and the stone. And there will be some other things, you know, as we go. There will be uh, food. He's got to find some semblance of food. Maybe he can get some from the camps. I don't know if, if they're going to give him any. Um, they'll give him knowledge, but I don't know if they'll provide him with sustenance yet. So that's my next thing. I need to figure out how to spawn um, how to spawn things for him to use and I don't I was thinking about having it uh, with a collusion box that when he gets to an area so that I don't have like thousands of items spawned needlessly only where in the area where he is um, I tried something like that let me show you let me show you that. Uh, let's go to my maps and let's save everything before we leave here. No, oh, I did not want to open that one. This one, testing map. Okay, and there he is. And I had this set up, like this was the area, but I'll show you the problem that I had with this idea. So he walks into it and over here you can see three fire logs have spawned and then so oh okay <laughs> all right get out of there okay so we if I coming in again watch over there where the logs are it'll spawn more and then I'll come back out and I'll walk in <laughs> I mean, obviously that's not usable. I have to find a different way. That's where I'm stuck at right now. So if you see a law in production of this, uh, that's why I'm trying to kind of branch out and get some ideas on the best spawn system for the game. And as you can see, he picked up the fire logs, which are in the crafting area. He's got seven of them. Um, I'm going to have to kind of fix that. So I haven't quite, because they really shouldn't show up as a craftable. So I got that marked wrong. It should actually show up here and then take them, you know, and then craft. So I got some work to do on that too. I mean, I, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot to this. Um, people play games, you know, and they bitch about this and that you know why don't we have this why don't we have that you know what it's really hard um, especially for a solo solo developer like myself I mean I have to go and I have to learn everything I have to learn all of what I have implemented in the two years I've been working on this project I've had to watch numerous videos hundreds of videos and hundreds of trial and error and this is why I go and do side projects so I can get a little more knowledge of how I might want to implement it into my main project here. So most likely I'll be working on some kind of side project until I can figure out my uh, spawning of this. Um, hopefully uh, I'll get something worked out. Any of y'all have any idea on how this could be done um, you know based on what I just showed you let me know in the comments I'm happy to hear any uh, any advice you guys might have 
So thanks a lot for being here, and I will catch you on the next upload. Bye-bye.